In this video, we're going to take a look at finding some gradients and some y-intercepts of some straight line graphs. So this first graph we've got here, we see going up from the bottom left towards the top right. Well, we're going to find our gradient first of all. And to find a gradient, we need to do the change in our y-value divided by our change in our x-value. Now to find what our change in y and change in x are, we need to draw a triangle. And we can do this, finding a point where our line goes through one of these sort of like cross sections, so it intersects across on our grid. So if we start on here, if we went across one, and then back up to our line, and we go back up to our line again at another one of these cross points. And we've drawn a nice little triangle. And we see that this triangle has an x change of 1. So we've gone along 1 on our x-axis. And we've gone up 3 on our y-axis. So our change in y is going to be 3. Our change in x is going to be 1. Well, 3 divided by 1 is just going to give us 3. Now for our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is simply where our graph crosses our y-axis. So this is our nice easy one, and we see that this graph crosses our y-axis at this point here, and that's where our y-value is equal to 2. So our y-intercept is just going to be 2. Now we could write in an equation for this graph using those two values and using the form y equals mx plus c. And this is where m is our gradient and c is our y-intercept. So for this graph, we'd have y equals 3x plus 2. All right, let's look at another one. So this one here, c, we're still going from the bottom left up to the top right. And we'll do our gradient first of all. So remember our gradient, that's going to be our change in our y value divided by our change in our x value. And we've got to draw a triangle on. Let's do it here. We've got another one of these cross points. We'll start off here. And if we go along, and we'll go along a little bit further, we'll go along to here. And then go back up to our line. And again, we see we're at another one of the cross points where our line goes through our grid. So how far along have we gone? Well, this time we've gone one, two, three. So our change in x is going to be three. And how far up have we gone? We've gone one, two, three, four, five. So our gradient, our change in x is going to be equal to five. Oh, sorry, our change in y is going to be equal to five. Our change in x is going to be equal to three. And we get a gradient of 5 over 3. And we can leave this as a fraction, else we'll end up getting some recurring decimals that aren't so nice. We'll just leave it as this fraction, 5 over 3. Then let's look at our y-intercept. Again, this is just going to be where this red line crosses our y-axis. And in this case, it's crossing it here. And that's where our y-value is minus 5. So our y-intercept for this one is going to be minus 5. Now again, let's put it into this y equals mx plus c, where m is going to be our gradient, c is going to be our y-intercept. So y is equal to 5 over 3x. And in this case, it's going to be minus 5, because we've got a plus c, but we've got a negative, so we're going to make it minus 5. Now let's take a look at a couple more graphs. This time you'll notice that our line starts from the top left and goes down to the bottom right. Well again, let's find our gradient first. And that's still going to be our change in, x, a change in y divided by change in x. And we still want to start off by finding one of these cross points. So we've got one here, where our red line crosses at one of these cross points. And we're going to go down this time. And then we can go across and we'll see that we meet up with another one of these cross points at this point here. So we've gone down to, and this is really important that we make sure we're going down. So it's going to be a negative 2. 
and we've gone across 1. So our change in y is going to be negative 2. Our change in x is going to be 1. Minus 2 divided by 1 is going to give us an answer of negative 2. So our gradient this time is going to be negative 2. So we've got that steepness of 2, but we're going in a negative direction, so it's going to be negative 2. Now let's do our y-intercept. Now this doesn't change from the previous example. It still stays as just the point where we go through this y-axis. In this case, it's going to be this point here, and that's where our y-value is 4. So our y-intercept is equal to 4. And again, we can put it into that equation, that y equals mx plus c, where m is our gradient, which in this case is minus 2. So it'll be minus 2x, and our y-intercept is 4, so minus 2x plus 4. Now let's look at another one of these. So we've got another example. We're starting from the top left. We're heading down towards that bottom right. And again, we'll start off with our gradient. So let's draw on our triangle. Let's start up here. We've got one of these nice little cross points where our red line goes through a cross on our grid. If we were to go down one, we could then go across two to get to another one of these points. So in this case, we've gone down one. So our change in y is negative one. Our change in x is 2. So our gradient is going to be minus 1 over 2. And that's going to give us a fraction. We could also write this as minus 0 0.5. Either would be absolutely fine. But the key part is that we've got this negative gradient again. Now let's do our y-intercept. And in this case, it's going to be just here. That's where our y value is equal to 6. So our y intercept is equal to 6. And again, we could put this into our equation. It would be y equals minus a half x plus 6. We've got this minus a half from the gradient and this plus 6 from the y intercept. We could also write it as y equals zero, minus 0 0.5x plus 6. Those two would be exactly the same because we've got this negative half or negative 0 0.5. They're exactly the same. Okay, now it's going to be a couple examples for you to have a go. So if you just want to pause the video for a moment, and if you want to have a go at finding the gradient and the y-intercept of this graph here, and then I'll go through it in just a second. So for this one, let's start off finding our gradient. This time we're going from the bottom left to the top right, so we know it's going to be a positive gradient. Now let's draw in one of our triangles. Let's find a point we can do it from. Well, let's go from here. Why not? We'll go across one, and we see we can go up two, and we get to another one of these points where it goes through a cross on our grid. So we've gone across one, we've gone up two. Our gradient is therefore going to be two divided by one. Well, that's just going to be two. Now let's do our y intercept. At what point do we go through this y axis? Well, that's going to be just here. That's where y is equal to minus 3, so our y-intercept is minus 3. And then if we wanted to put that into our equation, we'd have y equals 2x minus 3. Right, there's going to be one more example for you to have a go at. This time we've got a graph that's going in the opposite direction, so from our top left to our bottom right. You just want to pause the video for a moment, and then I'll go through it in a second. Okay, for this one then, because we're starting from the top left and going down to the bottom right, this is going to be one of our examples where we've got a negative gradient. So let's start off by finding our gradient, and we want to do one of these triangles again where we start off with one of these cross points. So we start off just here, and we could go down, we keep going down, and if we see here, at this point, we're going to get another one of these cross points we can go across. So we've gone down three. Our change in y is going to be negative 3, and we're going to cross 1, so our change in x is going to be 1. So our gradient, minus 3 divided by 1, well, minus 3 divided by 1 is just going to give us minus 3. And remember, it's got to be negative because we've got this slope going from the top left to the bottom right. Now our y-intercept. Well, where do we go through this y-axis? So it's all the way up here up where y is equal to 7, 
So our y-intercept is going to be equal to 7. And then we could put this into our equation again. y equals minus 3x plus 7. And that would be our answer for our gradient, our y-intercept, and then the equation if we want to do that as well. Make sure to like and subscribe for more maths videos.